So I followed him and we went to where the villagers were gathering. And I saw Fulani people. Welcome again to another video recording in the continuation of our storyline. Last week, I told you about a vision I saw of an iron statue of a woman that turned actually into a person. And um, we had to leave her with the pastor of a village church. I saw this vision, I knew clearly that God was talking to me, but I didn't quite understand what it all meant. I ran from upstairs, I, my, our bedroom upstairs, downstairs, uh, in the living room, I fell on my face before God. I'm, I'm crying for a revelation of what this is all about. Now. I knew God was talking to me. As I kept thinking about it, I knew God was talking to me. This thing happened to me in April 2004. However, in November that year, Dr. Kaza, a medical practitioner with FCDA, was in charge of the General Hospital at Abaji. Was, was well, he invited me into a program to come and speak to students um, in a village called Angwa Wakili. Angwa Wakili is the next village to Zangon Kataf, where there was um, a clash many years ago when Babangida was still president of this country. That was 1992. There was a, a clash between the Fulanese and the local community, if you remember. Now, Angwawakili was the next village to Zangon Kataf. As we arrived that November um, Friday morning to GSS, Government Secondary School, uh, Angwawakili, as we were entering the school premises, I saw that the whole village was descending on the school at the same time. I was coming to talk to students, but villagers, all kinds of people, children, adults, women, Old men, young men, they were descending on the school at the same time. When we entered, I saw that the students were meeting in a hall, but that these villagers were going to another part of the school. Then I became curious. So I asked Dr. Kaza, what is going on here? What are these villagers doing here? Then he told me that they were carrying out a medical outreach. He said, so what exactly are you doing? He said, he said, follow me. So I followed him and we went to where the villagers were gathering. And I saw Fulani people. Well, of course, if you see, if you see a Fulani person, you know. Uh, but from the dressing, Fulani men, Fulani women, all the villagers, they were coming there. And I said, so, so what are you, what? You are treating all these people? He said, yes. That, I should see, in the first room that everybody is entering, is where they are supposed to sit down, wait. The next room is a consultation room. That is where the doctors were. Doctors will see everybody. Whatever medical problem they came with, doctors will see them. The next room 
counselors who could speak their local dialect, the dialect of everyone who comes there. Somebody will hear what the counselors had to say to them in their native language. After the counselors place, then the dispensary or where the pharmacists were giving away the medicine. Now, this took me back to what I saw in April that year. God was calling me to rural evangelism. Rural evangelism that will cater for women, particular focus on women. Women it became clear to me where the birth of poverty, poverty of the highest order, no money, no prospect, no help, no government remembers them. I just saw very clearly what I was supposed to do in Angwawakili, Zangon Kataf. Everybody would come, whether they are Muslims, whether they are pagans, whether they are churchgoers, doctor will see them. After the doctor sees them, the counselors will preach the gospel to them in the language they would understand. After that, they got the medicine. Whether they give their life to Christ or not, at least they heard the gospel. This is what I saw. And the path of what I was called to do became very clear to me. I also have to go back to my own Jerusalem in Kogi State, in the Ghana land. What Dr. Kaza was doing for his people in Southern Kaduna, I needed to go and do for my people in Southern, in, in, in Kogi State, particularly the eastern part of Kogi State. This is how in November 2005, my wife and I got some doctors together, got some nurses together, got some uh, pharmacists together, and we went, first of all, to my own village. We have done 50 outreaches like that since November 2005 up until now. In the next video, I will tell you some of the things that I have experienced on the field of evangelism from 2005 to date. In fact, last April, this is uh, where we are in June, this two months ago in April, we had an outreach here in Abuja. What God has been doing and how God has been helping people, I'm going to tell you in details. Thank you for tuning in again today. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to it. Send it out to your friends. Send us your comments. God bless you. Thank you very much.